Smallholder Tea and Rubber Revitalization Project or STAR project is endeavouring to revive the tea and rubber industries under the financial facilities of the International Fund for Agricultural Development or IFAD and the Government of Sri Lanka. If you are aiming to earn a high monthly income from a well-cultivated tea land like so, by either starting a new tea plantation or by replanting tea to replace an old cultivation, the first aspect to be taken into account is the land suitability. How can we decide whether the land is suitable for tea cultivation? The Tea Research Institute or TRI has issued a set of recommendations for checking land suitability for tea cultivation. Some of the considered criteria are area, region, location, slope, nature of soil and soil infiltration. The TRI recommends that even if the land qualifies under those criteria, it should undergo soil rehabilitation for a longer period until the land is more suitable for tea replanting or new planting. Why does the soil need to be rehabilitated before tea cultivation? Soil rehabilitation is carried out before tea field planting. It develops the physical, chemical and biological qualities of the soil and it also eliminates roundworms and herbicides that harm tea cultivation while minimizing root diseases. Consequently, the soil rehabilitation process makes the tea plantation free from disease and it enables the maintenance of the cultivation without any hassle. Mitanadi Apidano Saman in Sampradai Tevaga Vidi Tevaga Kirimata Kalin Pase Masa the Hata Masa Visihatra Katrakale Pura Apikinama Truna Vishak Varga Karlati and Pasa Punarutta Pane Vimasana Punarutta Pane Vima Kini King Apiadahas Karani Pase Tiana Savibaraba Vedikirima Pase Jaladarita Vedikirima Vagi Karana. How is the soil rehabilitated before cultivation? According to the TRI, there are recommended grass varieties to be cultivated before starting tea field planting. Grass varieties such as Pangirimana or CO3 are recommended to be grown and maintained to the relevant standards. Pangirimana is required to be maintained for at least 18 months and CO3 cultivation requires 12 months of maintenance. The growers would not generate any revenue during the 18 months period of soil rehabilitation with mana. Since there are no advantages and revenue, tea smallholders are quite reluctant towards soil rehabilitation. Pasapunurta Pening Govio Tika Kamali Venek Adishine Karan Kudate Vatim Hitang in Nava Tamunge Ideme Pasesara Te Yamsipanika Tieno Kila Matava de Gutieno Tavat Matava de Akdama then Tamunge Ideme Sarvat Bave Tibai Kila Eketra Avashita Vikutne Kila Hitagana Tino Ita Tamatro de me Nevatavagava Karanagi Puham, Pasapunuta Pane Karanat Avashia, Nevatavagava Karanat Hite Yang in Namu take at Avashia Dravia, Visheshem, Rope and Dravia, Vula Slobatave, Ekanik Mini Magana Puluan the Nedakin Prasnat, Tina Oya Pradan, Karna Tamaimi, Kudateva to Himio, Pasapunuta Paneta, Melibavak, Dakwani.
Is your cultivatable land fertile? Does the land require soil rehabilitation or not? How is this decided? Based on experiments carried out for a long period by TRI together with the STAR project, a method for tea replanting without soil rehabilitation was figured out. This methodology is called Soil Quality Index or SQI method. This endeavour is carried out as a pilot project by STAR project with the collaboration of TRI. Mahavatul Sapiksu, Kudati with him and Wasser Dikakwagi Kaliak, may be the head of Mana, Waga Keral Tabima, Egulanta, Artika Hanida, Egulangada, Nathiwana, Saha, Ema Aita, me Kale Tula, Idamin Vedak Nathina, make Kudati with him and Navata Tevaga, Nokara City, Meta Tekata, Dakwa, Avila Tienoa. It may he to Nisa, Api may Alut Kramavi, the Akwidatmago Parishan of say Handunala. Latina metra di api karanne kuda teyo tu idam himi age idame api bala purute pasa punurutta apane karala api bala purutu ino nang pasai sabi vera bawe wede kiri ma shudra jiwi ganatte wede kiri ma kaba nika drawi pramane wede kiri ma ema pramane ate me idame samarela ada mukbohwi te me idam samarela ada pida kini idam ater la dala yam kisi kala yaktula e idame e tatu e tieno wadu kini kapi metra di widdiat maka pariyesha na ose nir ne karala bala no e bala la api kieno e Tatit Avilatino Nangapikina, Himanango Butta Kilima, Tevagata, Tepalindo and Puluankila. If the land qualifies the SQI test, tea field planting can be commenced without soil rehabilitation. Accordingly, the 12 to 18 months usually spent on soil rehabilitation can be saved and tea field planting could be done directly. අපට තේ පරිශ්‍රණයතින වශයෙන් තාක්ෂණය ජනනය කරන්න පුළුවන්. නමුත් තාක්ෂණය ජනනය කරලා ඒක ජනගත කිරීමට එහෙමත් නැත්නම් අපේ තේ වගා කරුවන් හට ගෙනියමේදී ප්‍රශ්න අපට තියෙනවා. සම්පත් ඉංගකමක් තියෙනවා. ඒ ඒක මං හිතන්නේ අපට මේ මේ ස්ටා ව්‍යාපෘතිය හරහා ඉෂ්ට කර ගන්නට හැකි වුණා. විශේෂයෙන්ම විද්‍යාගාර ස්ථාපිත කිරීම ඒකට අවශ්‍ය විද්‍යාත්මක උපකරණ මිලදී ගැනීම සහ ඒකේ තාක්ෂණය Guinea may the Prague get the Bicha Prasta, Silum de Valvagi, Apitamangitane, may be a putihara, Istakaragana, Pulanguna. Etocada, Mamakiwagi, Takshene, Janagatakiri, Matetang, Kuda, Teva to Himia, Ho, Teva to Himianga, Guinea may the me, Stavia putti, Mangitane, Apavishal, me, Dawakuna, make a Karagana, Prague than a petinu, Avashia, Manusam Pat, Pilbandat, Saha, make a Kuda, Teva to Himian to make a Rai, and Napa Margiacuna. How can the SQI test be carried out on your land? If you wish to replant tea without soil rehabilitation, at the onset your land should be subjected to an initial land inspection by a tea inspector or TI of the Tea Smallholders Development Authority or an officer of the Tea Research Institute. If the land is unable to meet the relevant basic requirements, the land would not qualify for tea planting. The request for the SQI test will be forwarded to the director of the Tea Research Institute only if the land qualifies by this basic land inspection. Based on the request, officers of the Tea Research Institute will visit the land and check for roundworms and agents of root disease in the soil, and also for threat of live wood termites. The soil samples for the SQI test would be obtained and sent to a laboratory only if the land qualifies this second test. This process is carried out by the officers of the Tea Research Institute themselves, since special equipment and methods are used to obtain the soil samples.
අපි පස පස කැඩෙන්නේ නැති එහෙම නැත්නම් බාධා වලින් තොර සවිවරව ඒ පිහිටි ආකාරයේම පස් සම්පලයක් අපිට ගන්න වෙනවා එම පස් සම්පලයක් ලබා ගැනීම සඳහා ඒ සඳහා වූ විශේෂ නියදි උපකරණ තියෙනවා ඉතින් අපේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපේ ගොවි මහත්තරුන් සතු ඒ වැනි නියදි උපකරණ නැති බව සහ ඒ සඳහා යම් කිසි ශිල්පීය ඥානයක් අවශ්‍ය වෙන නිසා අපි හැමතිස්සෙම නිර්දේශ කරන්නේ තේ පර්යේෂණ ආයතනයේ හෝ තේ පර්යේෂණ ආයතනයේ සුපරික්ෂා කාර්යත්වය යටතේ පුහුණුව ලැබූ නිලධාරීන් කණ්ඩායමක් විසින් මේක කරනවා නම් වඩා සුදුසුයි කියන එක තමයි අපි හැමතිස්සෙම කියන්නේ What is decided from the results of the SQI test? You, the landowner, will receive a certificate with the SQI test results after the laboratory tests are done at the Tea Research Institute. This will take approximately one month. The certificate contains recommendations of whether tea replanting can be carried out with or without soil rehabilitation. Therefore based on the recommendations smallholders can organize future cultivation activities If T smallholders receive recommendation to move forward without soil rehabilitation he or she can prepare the land for direct tea planting immediately